Hey guys, it's Kay. Now today I'm going to be looking at overclocking my Raspberry Pi 4. So, although 1.5 GHz is the maximum speed of the Raspberry Pi, it typically idles at around 600 MHz and switches to the maximum speed when needed. So what is overclocking? Well, overclocking is the process of setting a higher maximum speed for the computer components. We can adjust the settings in config.txt to overclock both the CPU and GPU. Now today I'm going to be overclocking my CPU to over 2 GHz. And for safety reasons, I'll be doing it in two steps, 1750 MHz and 2 GHz. So the amount of overclocking you will actually achieve depends on your cooling method. Now I'm using the flirt case to cool down my Raspberry Pi. This is a great case made out of a solid piece of metal and it performs very well. Check out my review video in the top right corner link. Now it's worth noting I'm using Raspbian on my Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we need to do is open up a command prompt and type the following commands. Now these commands will make sure we're up to date on all the software on the Raspberry Pi. So the first one is sudo apt update. And the second one is sudo apt dist hyphen upgrade. Now as soon as those are complete, we need to do a reboot. So we type sudo reboot. As soon as we're rebooted, we want to open up a command prompt. Now before we start overclocking, let's monitor what our current CPU speed is. To do this, we're going to open up a command prompt and type the following command. Okay, so currently we can see we're idling at 600 megahertz. And if I put a load on it, it would go to 1.5 gigahertz, the stock speed of the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, now to overclock, we need to open up another command prompt and type the following command. We're going to be editing the config.txt file. So scroll your way down to the overclock section and enter the following commands. We're upping the voltage and the CPU frequency to 1750 hertz. You then save and exit the file by entering the following command. Now before the changes take effect, we need to reboot, so type the following to reboot. Okay, let's test out the CPU frequency now. So let's open up a command prompt and type the following command. Straight away, we can see we've got 1750 megahertz. So now that's the maximum frequency we're going to get with the CPU, even under load. So it's safe to say my Raspberry Pi can handle this overclock. Now depending on the cooling method for your Raspberry Pi, you may or may not be able to handle this overclocking. If yours can't, I would suggest lowering the figure in the CPU field in the config.txt file. Now if your Raspberry Pi has safely reached this stage of 1750 MHz, we can go on to the next stage of CPU overclocking, which is 2 GHz. So we go back into the config.txt file and update as follows. Scroll down to the overclock section as before and update the overvolt voltage to 6 and arm frequency to 2000. Exit and save as before. And then we just need to reboot for the changes to take effect. Let's open up a command prompt to test the changes. Monitor the frequency with the following command. And to test, we open up an internet browser and we can see the CPU frequency jumps to just over 2000 MHz. So guys, we can safely say we have overclocked our CPU to just over 2000 MHz. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.